proteins, DNA, and sex. Just like cellulose, which are chains of alcohols, form the fibers giving structure to plants, proteins are chains of amino acids which form skin, bones, and muscles giving structure to animals. Humans and other animals are mostly a blob of different proteins. Amino acids are carbon chains with nitrogen tails and COOH heads. All cells from plants and animals contain DNA, which is a machine for making proteins out of amino acids. DNA is made from two strands of four molecules, A, T, C, and G. Because A always bonds with T, and C always bonds with G, DNA can replicate by unzipping into two strands. Once unzipped, opposing negative strands are formed from the available A, T, C, and G molecules in the area. In this way, a double strand can replicate into two identical double strands. DNA chains coil into a double helix which coils into chromosomes. Every cell of an organism contains chromosomes from both the mother and the father, giving it a pair or a set of chromosomes. Each chromosome of a matching pair is structurally similar to each other and has the same genetic material arranged in the same order and physical location. The genetic material in each chromosome comprises a series of discrete genes that influence all our traits, from the color of our skin, hair, and eyes, to our strengths and weaknesses. These genes, like the people they make, can be either dominant or recessive. Dominant genes mask the expression of the recessive ones. If a plant inherits a dominant gene for tallness from either parent, then it will be tall. It will only be short if it inherits a recessive tallness gene from both parents. The sequence of genes on a double helix can be read by chemicals in our cells and by chemists in laboratories. The sequencing specifies how to connect 20 types of amino acids together to build humans from one single fertilized egg cell. It also specifies how to build all the proteins for the cells to grow, as well as how to build enzymes and hormones the tools and machines our body uses to live. The genetic code is the set of rules by which information encoded in DNA is translated by living cells into proteins. A sequence of three molecules is called a codon. There are 64 possible combinations of codons to code for 20 amino acids. There is a codon as a marker to start sequencing, codons for all of the 20 amino acids, and three codons to signal the end. This redundancy of codes ensures a resilient and accurate copying system. ATG is the start codon, and TAA or TGA or TAG are stop codons. The 20 amino acids are named using the letters of the alphabet. For amino acid F, the codons are TTT and TTC. For K, they are AAA and AAG. For H, it is CAT. And for Y, they are TAC and TAT. When cells divide to make new cells for growth or replacement, the DNA from both the father and the mother replicate into two identical double-stranded chains. Following the dance called mitosis, the replicated chains couple and wait to be pulled apart and drawn into the separate ends 
of the dividing cell. This ensures that all cells have identical chromosomes to their parents. When life procreates, special sex cells called gametes, each with only half of the DNA of normal cells, are formed. In plants, they are called spores, and in animals, they are called sperms and eggs. These sex cells are formed by a dance called meiosis. The DNA chains replicate the same way as they do in cell division, but before they are drawn apart, the replicated DNA from the father and the replicated DNA from the mother couple and exchange genes with each other like they were making love. This is shown below where the father's DNA labeled F and the mother's DNA labeled M are replicated, coupled, and shuffled, resulting in four unique strands labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. When the strands uncouple, they go their own way, forming two cells, which are torn apart, making in the end four gamete cells, all with unique DNA, but with only half of the DNA of a normal cell. Gamete cells in animals develop into sperms and eggs. Each sperm cell is made individually and is a unique blend of the parents of the father. Each egg cell is a unique blend of the parents of the mother. Mothers are born with about one million eggs, enough to last them a lifetime. They are held in two ovaries that release about a thousand eggs every month at menstruation, along with hormones called estrogen. Usually, only one of the thousand eggs released anchors and takes root in the womb to be hopefully fertilized by semen containing sperms of a man. When a woman runs out of eggs at about age 50, she gets hot and cold flashes called menopause. Fathers produce millions of tiny mobile sperm from their two testicles and ejaculate them with stimulation on demand or simulation in a dream. Males can ejaculate semen filled with swimming sperm from puberty when they get hot flashes and discover what their penis is for until they forget what it's for or die. Each ejaculation releases up to 3,000 million sperm, all different and all looking to hook up with an egg to penetrate. Egg cells only allow one sperm inside, despite that millions try. Once penetrated, the egg is fertilized and starts to divide. It doubles with every division from 1 to 2, 4 to 8, 16 to 32, 64 to 128, and 256 to 512. After 10 divisions, it reaches a thousand cells, and after 10 more, it reaches a million. The DNA specifies what each cell will be, whether muscle, bone, skin, or hair, or any of the many organs, by marking the DNA at the place that encodes the appropriate proteins for it. At each cell division, the DNA unzips to replicate and the cell reads the entire DNA sequences, recognizing its marker along the DNA where the instructions for it are located. In this way, the cells know when to become bone cells, heart cells, lung cells, blood cells, and any other type of cells to form a complete human being. It is all coded in the DNA like a Lego construction manual. As an example, the gene sequence ATCGGCTAACCCCGGATTAC GGGGAAATGGGCCAT C G G G C T A A C C G T A T C might read as follows. 
Hello, cell number 15603. You are a bone cell. The coding to make the proteins you need are coded as follows. An ant has only two chromosomes, while a cat has 38 and a dog has 78. Potatoes and tobacco and monkeys have 48 and cotton has 52. The size of a developed human egg cell is about 100 micrometers in diameter, about the size of the period at the end of this sentence. The largest egg comes from a whale and it measures 35 centimeters in diameter. The DNA from one of the 100 trillion cells of a human body has about 300 million A, T, C and G molecules and if stretched out would be about 3 meters long. Like a collection of instruction manuals for how to build and maintain a human, humans have 46 chromosomes, half from the mother and half from the father. A person has all genes from each parent but only expresses one of them called the dominant gene. The dominant genes can either come from the father or the mother. The child is a random blend or mixture of his parents' genes. When the mother provides more dominant genes than the father, then the child is more like the mother than like the father. And when both genes provided by the parents are recessive, then the child is more like his grandparents in that particular trait expressed by the gene. Fortunately, Sex chromosomes do not cross over and get shuffled, so the child's sexual traits are not a blend of his parents. The child is either entirely male with a penis or entirely female with a vagina. This is determined by the father alone. Females have two long sex chromosomes, XX, because they need the extra genes needed to develop breasts and a womb needed to give birth. Males have one of their sex chromosomes shortened, leaving them with one long X and one short Y. While females have only an X to deal out as far as sex, males have an X and a Y. If the father deals out his X from his genetic stack of cards, then the child will be a girl. If he deals out a Y, then his child will be a boy. With the help of computers and machines able to see DNA, chemists have been able to decipher the genetic code and open and leave through and read a few pages of the genome collection. As computers evolve, man will be able to not only read and understand the entire library, but to write into it. Then, Man will play the dangerous game of God and create a new life form using the best genes of all plants and animals. He will create a super creature and set it free, much like hackers infect computers with viruses.